Welcome back as Raf Honigstein joins us. Raf, the uh, Coutinho transfer saga took another twist today. Didn't it, Coutinho, handing in a transfer request? Yeah, two twists even, because first Liverpool came out with this official statement saying there's absolutely no chance he will move uh, by the time the summer window is closed. He'll still be a Liverpool player. And within an hour or so of that, uh, they had to first say, no, there's no transfer request. And they said, yeah, actually, they did one. Uh, one did come in via email, uh, but it doesn't change anything. Now, I mean, the transfer request legally has no real bearing. It doesn't force Liverpool to release him. It might have some negative effect as far as sign-on uh, fees and bonuses for continuous concern. So it, I, I think it expresses his uh, determination uh, to go through and has symbolic value. But if Liverpool want to continue with that line, as they did with Suarez, at least for that year when he didn't move uh, mm. to Arsenal, nothing stops them from doing so. Stevie, does this make any difference to you? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, all along, I, I was hoping that, <clears throat> that the Fenway group would, would stand firm and say nobody's leaving here but, and, um, and continue. He only signed a new deal last January. He wasn't, but he, does the fact he, that he's made a transfer request, does that make, it make any difference in this song? Well, it shouldn't, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely, 100%. Look, as no. much as Liverpool have been resolute in this, and we're not selling him for any figure, surely an unhappy player has a risk of upsetting things more than cashing in now and trying to at least bring in some new players before the start of the season. You know what? Some, sometimes, sometimes you have to do the right thing, and there are always consequences for your actions when you do that. Mm. And part of that might be, he might be upset for a little period. But you know what? He's the highest paid player in Liverpool's history. I think that might cushion the blow a little bit, and it certainly should. And Liverpool have to stick with it, stick to their guns, and don't let them go. Do you think he's staying? <sighs> it looks like it. It looks like they're going to say, no, we're fixing our bayonets. Yeah. Fenway Group and say, no, you're not going. The point you made is the difficult situation here, because... You could have... We don't know Philip Coutinho personally. We don't know his mindset. We don't know his attitude. We don't know how he'll react to this. I can understand the player. I'm in Barcelona, for God's sake. As big a club as Liverpool are, yep. they've been starved of real success from his days when they were lifting European Cups almost every year and running away with the, which was the, the first division then, now the Premier League. All of a sudden, Barcelona want you. Your mindset changes. Now, if they don't sell him... What can he fill up Coutinho are they going to have? As Stevie said, will he be in the huff for a month? Yeah. A week? Six months? Or are you going to have a guy who you're going to get over 100 million for now who's probably going to be worth half that in 12 months if his attitude stinks? That's the big risk. How uh, much of a difference, Shag, does it make the, the fact that it's the World Cup next year? Oof. So Coutinho is thinking not only about that, obviously, but if he stays at Liverpool, he can't really salt because he still wants to make an impression. Well, I, I think he has to. Philip Coutinho quite clearly has, has his own future in his, in his hands here. I mean, at the same time, uh, I don't think Coutinho has been as good post-injury as he was pre. Does he go to Barcelona? Does he just sit on the bench? Does he rediscover his form? All these are things for him to consider. Now, I, I'm with Stevie here, and, and as much as when Bar a club like Barcelona come calling, you know heads are going to be turned. But you signed a new deal six months ago, seven months ago, and now all of a but sudden... But Barcelona weren't interested then. Yes, but yeah, but at the same time, you signed a deal seven months ago. I, that doesn't matter. If, oh, if you, come on, Sean. You know, if you're thinking that my future lays, lies somewhere else, whether there's printed interest or not, then see it out. You, I, I, I'm sorry, you can't make this kind of an about turn, a total 180 in seven months. I, I don't care. I, I don't care. I, I have no sympathy oh, at all. We need to get in the real point. world here. These contracts are not worth the paper they're written. Well, well we, we can know, say that. I'm, I'm, fine, I'm fine we say that. What's the point of having a but contract? Then, no, exactly. I'm just saying they're just, not worth it. Whether a player signed six months ago, or three months ago, or a month ago, heads will be turned when bigger, better, more successful clubs come on the market. It, it, it's just... It's, it's, it's rational business sense Look, it's, it's, and rational career sense. Uh, uh, understandable, but at the same time, contracts have value. If you don't, and if players start neglecting the value to those contracts, clubs can then turn around and say, well, you haven't been playing well for the last nine months, we'd like to terminate Shut, it. That's different, isn't it? Hold on. It's just not the that, way it works. That exists, that exists it, in uh, the uh, US. That, how, that how is, is how contracts work in, in NFL. Contracts are not guaranteed in, the, in, in NFL in the US. And as, as rich as players get, Clubs still have a lot of power. Now, if players want to kind of throw that away, throw away the value of that contract, that's what they're flirting no, with. We